Hey, I wanted to show you this quick little um, thing I found in ClickFunnels. Um, so if you're fairly acquainted with CSS, then you know how like some of the, you know, moderate edits and things like that. Um, so one of the thing, the issues with ClickFunnels is um, like you can't customize things too much. So like for this to vertically align um, this text, I had to, because you can horizontally align it, but you can't vertically align. So what I did was, if you see here, um, I'll go into the custom CSS. Um, I have display flex, align item center, justify content center. That way you get the, um, the full vertical center issue. But um, before I added this, I ran into this issue where you would come down here and it wouldn't um, like transfer to the mobile format that you know normally would happen in a column. And then if you would just try to like change this to um, desktop only, then this would be like the same, it would be the same selector and I would come in here and change it to that selector, but it's the same thing and it overrides it because ClickFunnels puts in its own information that says, you know, this is desktop only. So what you need to do is you need to make it so that it is all and then come into the CSS and specify that it is desktop only through what I did was minimum width um, 700 pixels. So then after that, you see if you come in here, and you switch to desktop, I mean uh, mobile, oh, it did it a little bit ago. So we're going to try it again. Okay, everything's right. I think it doesn't show it in preview. I think that was the issue. Or not in this preview. It doesn't show it in this one. So let's try this and bring it down. And here we go. So it collapsed under that. So then when you go to the actual website, um, the landing page, then they collapse on each other and you don't have that issue of, you know, things next to each other, but also being able to center text. So that's nice. Um, we're also going to add a little space here for, for spaciness. So let's check it out again. Uh, looks good, going down, and we're good. Um, so yeah, so that's just a quick little tutorial on how to vertically align, plus also being able to, um, you know, correct the view in mobile view. But yeah, so if you have any questions about this, if this works for you, please let me know in the comments down below if it helped. If you like um, content like this, these little like click funnel hacks, um, because you can only do so much, but it is such a powerful platform and super easy to use. And, um, you know, you don't need to be a coder to know how to this, how to, you know, just copy and paste this, which I can put in the uh, comments below. This selector though will change depending on the row. So to find that selector number, all you're gonna do is you're gonna go to settings of the area that you want and then click get, get CSS info. And you can use the selector right here. Um, that's going to change depending on where it is. So you can do that literally for any object, say I wanted to do this entire entire container thing, then there you go. If it's just this, um, same thing. So that is how you also find the, uh, the CSS to customize for ClickFunnels as well. Um, so yeah, sorry, this is how all my <laughs> outros go. I'm like, oh yeah, we're all done. And then it's like, no, we're not. Anyways, um, so, that's all. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. If there is something that you're hung up on and is like, this should be so easy, how do I do it? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll get back to you if I can. And um, yeah, I hope this was helpful for you. And if so, let me know, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.